shocking fashion as they're able to defeat the Michigan State Spartans in Michigan State. Apparently, they hadn't won in Michigan State since 2012, something that I didn't even realize till they said it on the broadcast, which is crazy. But it was a really, really good effort by Ohio State to find a way to win this game. Uh, somehow, Bonner hits a crazy game-winning three that I don't think anybody expected to go in. And they just kept fighting in this game, something that in the Holtman era just didn't really seem like they did. And, you know, first off, you got to give props to Jake Diebler. What a job he's done with this team just in his three games. You have a win against Purdue, and then you do something uh, in East Lansing that hadn't been done in a while. And you snap this ridiculous losing streak on the road that just had to come to an end. And, you know, I'll say it right now, this team – looks light years better in these past, even the game against Minnesota. You know, Minnesota kind of shot crazy in that game, and that's a really hostile environment, and Minnesota has been a bad matchup for Ohio State. They played decent in that game. There was a lot of mistakes. They couldn't rebound at times. But if you look at the game against Purdue, you look at this game against Michigan State, who Michigan State, they're supposed to be an eight seed in the tournament right now, not, probably not after this game. Before going into this game, they were – they're a pretty well-respected team in college basketball this year. And Ohio State was able to get this big win on the road. So I'm seeing a lot of positives. And this was just a great game where, you know, they're trailing by 10 pretty much the entirety of the game. A lot of stages kind of deep into the second half, they're trailing by 10. And they just find a way to keep crawling back slowly and slowly. Akpara had a really good game. Mahaffey, that guy's good. That guy is, is is a good future piece for this team. Roddy Gale kept trying to make plays. They were really good defensively. The, the, the hustle and the effort seemed like it was there. And they find a way to pull it out in the end at the last possible second. The game hadn't been tied since the very beginning when it was 2-2. And then all of a sudden it's tied at 56. And then they go up 57. And then Michigan State ties the game with a foul shot. And then the rest is history right there. Bonner hits the three. Great game. You know, it's really good to see when a team like this is able to, um, you know, kind of show their value when, the, you know, they've been astrayed by a head coach or a, just a regime that wasn't really working. And they really just found a way in these past three games to execute. They found a way to do it. So, yeah, props to Jake Diebler. Props to this team for not quitting, and I'm really excited to see where this team goes in future years.